Tom Libby, an automotive analysis at IHS Market, noted that U.S. buyers consistently exhibit a robust demand for SUVs. As he said, by 2025, we see the light truck segment that includes SUVs, vans, and pickups to make up 78% of sales compared to 72% now. This market trend has prompted numerous automakers to enter the SUV segment. And among them, Tesla stands out with its highly successful Model Y. According to market research firm Jado Dynamics, the Model Y achieved remarkable sales figures of 1.23 million units in 2023. Leveraging this success, Tesla is now gearing up to introduce the Model Y Juniper upgrade. In today's presentation, we will explore Tesla's manufacturing plan for the Model Y Juniper and address the following inquiries. What are the potential specifications of this new Model Y and what features can we expect to see incorporated into it? To begin, let's delve into the production plan for the Model Y Juniper. Earlier this year, it became apparent that the Tesla Model Y Juniper is unlikely to be rolled out in 2024. Tesla has communicated this sentiment to their delivery advisors, who in turn share it with customers inquiring about the vehicle's refresh. However, this development isn't necessarily negative. With numerous ongoing car projects, Tesla can utilize this time to adequately prepare before ramping up production of the Model Y Juniper. So, where does the production of Juniper take place? The optimal location for the production of the Juniper Model Y is Giga Shanghai. Giga Nevada is currently occupied with expanding for the Tesla semi mass scale production scheduled for late 2024, while Giga Texas is dedicated to Cybertruck, and Giga Fremont is managing multiple products simultaneously, including the Model S, X, 3, and Y making it less ideal for taking on another project. In contrast, Giga Shanghai is exclusively focusing on the Model 3 and Model Y, having produced the refreshed Model 3 known as the Highland. Given that Model Y is expected to undergo similar changes as the Model 3's refreshed, it makes sense to produce the new Model Y at this facility. Moreover, Giga Shanghai boasts as the most efficient Tesla factory, operating with 95% automation and completing a vehicle in just about 39.62 seconds, as pointed out in a short video that was shared on Tesla's manufacturing page. The number of Juniper Model Y units that'll roll off the production line in 2025 depends on the annual capacity of Giga Shanghai. In October of the previous year, Tesla officially increased the factory's estimated annual capacity to more than 950,000 units, up from its previous forecast of around 750,000. This adjustment aligns closely with actual figures. According to China Daily, in 2023, Tesla Giga Shanghai successfully delivered 947,000 vehicles, with nearly 70%, approximately 750,000 vehicles, being Model Y. If Tesla maintains this production rate and begins production earlier next year, achieving the production milestone of 750,000 Model Y Juniper vehicles is entirely possible. Following a pattern similar to the refreshed Model 3, it'll likely take up to four months from its launch in China for the Model Y Juniper to arrive in North America. What are the expected specifications and new features for the Model Y Juniper? Before delving into that, let's first review its appearance. To make things easy, X-user Lamian Design produced a set of renders that show his interpretation of a reworked Model Y, borrowing the new headlights and taillights, as well as the sleeker front bumper from the Highland Model 3. Notably, the central ventilation part in some concept models appears to be expanded even wider than the design of the Model 3 Highland. This design choice aims to significantly reduce air resistance while the vehicle is in motion, allowing airflow to pass through the ventilation unit more efficiently. Currently, the Tesla Model 3 Highland holds the title for the car with the lowest drag coefficient among the other Tesla models, at 0.219. It's highly probable that with the Model Y Juniper, the drag coefficient could be further reduced to less than 0.2, originally 0.23. This reduction could substantially contribute to increasing the Model Y's range. Now, let's discuss three key changes to the Tesla Model Y Juniper to further enhance its performance. Firstly, Tesla is rumored to be developing a new powertrain for its vehicles, featuring electric motors that utilize permanent magnets instead of current electromagnets. This advancement is expected to offer a higher efficiency with no power consumption required. Additionally, the new powertrain is said to incorporate a more efficient inverter, resulting in an efficiency increase of over 20% compared to the old drive. This promises an impressive driving range of over 400 miles on just a quick 15-minute charge. In contrast, the latest data from Tesla indicates that the performance, long-range all-wheel drive, and rear-wheel drive models 
Currently off ranges of 279, 310, and 260 miles respectively. Compared to the anticipated new range of 400 miles, these existing ranges seem insignificant. Secondly, there have been notable developments in battery technology. While Tesla initially aimed to incorporate 4680 batteries into its new car models, current production rates only allow for sufficient capacity in the Cybertruck line. Previously, the Model Y standard range all-wheel drive also utilized 4680 batteries, but production ceased after Tesla shut down the Cato battery facility in November of the previous year. Presently, almost all Model Y vehicles utilize 2170 batteries. However, these batteries pose limitations due to increased resistance caused by larger anode-cathode play sizes, resulting in more energy loss as heat and hindering rapid charging capabilities. Moreover, the use of cobalt and 2170 batteries presents ethical concerns, particularly regarding labor practices in cobalt mining, notably in the Republic of Congo. Consequently, Tesla's opted for LFP batteries, which are safer, more cost-effective, and easier to mine. Tesla is currently working on establishing a battery factory in Nevada, and with the assistance of CATL's technology, creating more efficient batteries is entirely feasible. As of now, Model Y batteries' capacity ranges from approximately 60 to 81 kilowatt hours. However, advancements in technology could push battery capacities up to 95 kilowatt hours. Thirdly, we have seen Tesla always uses the latest tire technology from leading manufacturers like Michelin. The Primacy SUV Plus tire emerges as a prime candidate for the new Model Y, offering exceptional performance on both wet and dry surfaces, alongside enhanced durability and fuel efficiency. Equipped with the innovative Evergrip technology, these tires provide superior road grip, particularly in wet conditions. Additionally, the Primacy SUV Plus tire sets a benchmark for a longitudinal traction among SUV segment tires. Its braking performance remains consistently safe across various terrains. Notably, these tires exhibit a braking distance that's 13.3% shorter than leading competing SUV tires on the market when braking from 49.7 miles per hour to 12.4 miles per hour. Indeed, short braking distances mean that the Model Y can stop more quickly and reduce the risk of accidents. A little bonus, when Tesla replaced the Model 3 with a refreshed version, they eliminated the performance trims. However, shortly after, footage emerged of the Model 3 Highland performance, often referred to as ludicrous, being tested. Leaked features included a 2170 Panasonic battery pack, a Cattle 16 low-voltage battery, performance chassis, PUR, premium seats, and active suspension. This version is going to be built in Fremont, with a manufacturing date in early March. It's anticipated that the Model Y will follow a similar pattern. Its performance trim is expected to be discontinued once the refreshed version arrives to the U.S., with the U.S. likely being the first market to get it before China. This wraps up our comprehensive update on the Model Y Juniper. The Juniper project presents both challenges and opportunities for Tesla to revitalize its product lineup, which is gradually getting obsolete. With these significant changes on the horizon, would you consider trading in your old model to get the new Model Y Juniper for yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please show your support by smacking that like button and subscribing to our channel to get notifications on future episodes. For now, goodbye and see you soon.